Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we are going to implement multi digit handwritten numbers recognition uh, using MNIST extension. The objective is to extend the MNIST dataset with pictures of multi digits, and the program will be recognizing the numbers of, in an image. And then the pictures of handwritten digits are sent to uh, MNIST train model from where it will be returning the predictions of uh, digits. So let's begin with the code. So here we are. Uh, here I'm importing different uh, libraries. So MNIST actually is uh, open source data available at Kaggle as well. Uh, it contains almost uh, 70 to 75,000 images of uh, single digit number. We are using sequential model. Actually, sequential model is a linear stack of layers. It is a way of creating deep learning models where an instance of sequential class is created. And the model layers are created and added to it as well. So we have created a sequential model by passing a list um, a list of uh, layers to its constructor. All right, so here we are. Uh, then we then we are compiling the model and choosing accuracy as performance metric. So here we have training data and testing data in a proper format. So let me first show you the data set that we have collected. Actually, what we are doing is we are using MNIST data set for actual training. As you know, MNIST data set is of single digit images. And then we, are, we have created our own data set. And here is the data set. It contains multi-digit numbers like two digit, three digit, then four digits, five digit and so on. So here I'm creating a function named digit recognition, which takes an image and its size. This total program, what is being done is, first the image is converted into grayscale, that is into black and white. After that, we did the thresholding of the image. The step of thresholding is performed to create a binary image from a grayscale image. It separated the foreground pixels from the background pixels. Uh, actually, this is what, this is the main step that uh, uh, that is useful in getting the digit out of the image. Then the thresholding distinguishes the lighter or darker pixels of the image. So actually the darker part is our number and the lighter part is the background. Uh, we adopted the divide and conquer strategy where the program checks that how many numbers of digits are there in a picture and then crops each digit separately on the basis of contour and then send that exactly crop image to the MNIST program for the, for the recognition of this single digit. So detected images. So these images are actually of single, uh, single digit. So in the next section, we are actually making the contours over the digits. So in this section, we are testing our uh, self-collected data set that was of multi-digit multi -digit numbers. So here I'm uploading my different images. It contains you can see three digit, four digit, five digit, two digit, two, two digit number, and I have six digit number as well. So this is my data set. So I can delete simply its uh, path, its directory, and I'm pasting that path into this comments. So these are the valid image types. 
And after that, my program is taking all these images one by one using OS library. So the predictions are made on the basis of MNIST train program. So here is my prediction result. So I'm actually saving it in an array. Here I'm showing all the images one by one and its result. So let me show the results. Here I have the image 9299. So it predicted that it actually recognizes the number of digits in the image. So it says one, two, three, four, five. I have five digits. One digit is nine. Second digit is two, again, nine, two, and nine. So it worked very well. Next digit, seven, next number, 7077. So it's predicting, uh, it's predicting two, very bad. Then zero, all right. Seven, no, it's not three. So these are the flaws. Uh, this can be like dedicated, no problem. So in the next image, we have 92022, which again, fine. Then two digit, two digit number, eight, nine. So here we go. You can see, however, if you want, this code or the data set i can share you you can just comment in the comment section so thank you so much enough